What's up guys, my name is Alex and welcome to another top 5 video. Today I'm going to be counting down my top 5 movies with uh, queer women in it. So I recently did my top 5 TV shows with queer women in it, so I'll have that linked in the description if you guys want to go check that out. But like I mentioned in that video, this is going to be counting down my top 5 movies, not necessarily couples. I will be doing a separate couples video of my top 5 couples of 2017 uh, that's going to include couples from movies and TV shows, but this is going to be some of my favourite movies. So let's get into my top 5 and I do have to say on the get go, when I was making this list, I was kind of surprised by how little movies there were that I watched this year with queer women in it. I don't know, I just felt like there was way more movies that I watched but I just could not could not find them. I also have to say Professor Marston and the Wonder Woman is not in my top five list and that's purely because I haven't seen it, right? I have no doubt in my mind from the reviews and from what people have said about it that it would probably be close to my top movie, right? Um, but I haven't actually seen it so I can't recommend it. Um, I, I'm so bummed that I didn't, I, I haven't been able to watch it yet. I also didn't put Atomic Blonde in this top five list just because like, I liked the movie, but <laughs> there was not a happy ending, you know? It just, yeah, it, it was it was tough to watch. <laughs> so, with that being said, let's get into number five. And number five is uh, Princess Sid. Um, I think it's like an indie film. I honestly had not heard of it until someone, like, recommended it to me. I didn't see it at the theatres or anything like that. Um, so I'm not sure if it just went straight to DVD. Um, but I, what I really liked about this movie was the sort of conflict wasn't around her struggling with her sexuality, right? She just, like, she liked who she liked and that wasn't an issue, you know? Um, it just, I don't know, it just felt like a movie about a teen girl. Like, there wasn't all this, like, sort of artificial drama, you know? Um... And I, I liked that. So yeah, Princess Sid is at number five on my list. Number four is A Date for Mad Mary. Now, I think this is also an indie film. Um, and I I really liked this film. I, I yeah, I, I really, really did like it. The Mary, who's Mad Mary, you know, she has got some serious, like, anger and drinking issues. But the sort of chick that she like falls in love with was super cute and they were really cute together. I just, I really liked them. It kind of, it, their relationship kind of didn't completely wrap up by the end of it, but it was left on sort of a high note, like a positive note, like there was potential for them to continue on, you know? Um, so I liked that. Uh, it wasn't a bad ending, Mad Mary. You know, she uh, she's figuring her shit out, and I did I did really enjoy this movie. Number three um, is <laughs> probably I really really loved this movie way more than I was expecting to going into it, and it's Rough Nights. I love this movie so much. It's a comedy. Also, Kate McKinnon trying to do an Australian accent is fucking hilarious. People, I just I I really really loved this movie. Um, and, you know, I, uh, the girls got a happy ending in the end. It was really, really cute. And again, it wasn't like this whole big thing, their sexuality, you know? It was just, it was there. Like, it wasn't, it wasn't made a spectacle of, you know, which I really, really loved. Um, so, yeah, I, I, I love Rough Night. Like I mentioned, if you guys have seen me talk about it in my previous video, I went into the movie not expecting it to be queer, right? Um, and I was so pleasantly surprised. It was just a really, really good movie. It's fucking hilarious. Really, really, really funny. Um, but yeah, it just gave me all the good feels. It gave me all the good feels. So I do highly recommend watching Rough Night if you have not yet. Now we're getting into the top two movies of this year. Um, and number two is Battle of the Sexes. So I talked about Battle of the Sexes in previous videos. Um, I kind of went... I only really noticed it because it was gay, right? Emma Stone. I was like fully on board with Emma Stone playing a, a queer character. So I was like, I need to go see this. But I wasn't, I'm not going to lie, I wasn't really expecting much from it. I'm not a tennis person really. Um, and so I was just going to go in to watch it for the gay. I've only just recently been able to watch it because I didn't get to see it at the cinema. So it's come out like digitally recently. So I only just managed to watch it recently. And 
It's so, so good. I just, oh my god. Like, I had no idea who Billie Jean King was before this movie, but she is, like, my idol now. I just, oh, my heart goes out to her. I, oh, she gave me all the feels. I just, I cannot even imagine, like, the pressure she would be going through. Just, like, oh my god. Like, just... One, having, like, women's rights, essentially riding on this tennis match. <laughs> like, what the fuck? And then also, obviously, like, her... I don't know if she was coming to terms with her sexuality at this point, or if she just, like, you know, obviously she's just never really... N never really, uh, what's the word? Pursued it? Because it's just... was not ex accepted, right? But, um, I just, uh, she's just an incredible person. And I just, oh, my heart. It was a really, really, really good movie. And I just, I found a whole new appreciation for other women that I had. I didn't even know existed until this movie. So I'm just, I love this movie so much. And I do highly, highly recommend it. I just, I, I, I cannot recommend it enough. It's just so good. I'm very disappointed though that like Mary, um, what's her name? Margaret Court was the Australian rep, tennis rep in that movie. Oh, I despise her. I kind of didn't really know who she was watching it and then I googled her and then I remembered that she's still around spouting homophobic shit. Oh, she was, she was very vocal during the same-sex debate um, here in Australia recently. I, oh, oh, she made me mad. Oh. But, Yes, please do go watch the movie. And number one, I don't think this should be a surprise because I have gushed about this movie so much this year. It's the Carmilla movie. Oh, it's just so good. I, it was everything that I wanted and more. I just, I adored it so much. I just, I just oh. You know, just being a fan of the web series and like getting this this incredible movie, it just ah, it just filled me with so many feels. <laughs> I just yeah, I don't know. I I mean, I've gushed about this movie plenty of times. I made a review on it. If you guys want to go check that out, I have that linked in the in the description. But I just ah, oh, the movie is so good, and they just I mean, I <laughs> I just I'm gonna start like just fan girl squealing if I like just try and explain what what I loved about the movie. It was just great. It was just great. Though I do feel like, I, I, I'm i saying this as someone that was a fan of the web series. I'm not sure how, um, how the movie, um, I guess, what's the word? Like, uh, if the movie appealed to people that haven't seen the web series, I'm not entirely sure. But as someone that was a huge fan of the web series, I just adore this movie so much. So, so much. So if you haven't had the chance yet, please go watch it. They have it available on their, what is it, the VHX, is it? But I'll have that store linked in the description so you can go bu buy like the bundles that they have available with all the special features and stuff like that. Um, but yeah, it's just, ugh, and like Dominic Povo Chokli is in it, and just, oh, and the, the sex scene that they had was just, oh, it was beautiful. I just, ugh, so many great things about this movie. <laughs> yes, I do highly, highly recommend it. But that's my top five list. I would like to know what's on your top five list. It's been an interesting year for films. Like, I've had my, some of my favorite, all-time favorite films ever be, like, released this year. Um, but also looking back, there just wasn't a whole heap of queer movies that were released this year. Well, not that I remember anyway, so if you guys remember any that I missed, um, yeah, let me know. I am, I'm, I'm just, I'm so, I, I cannot wait until January 30th when Professor Marston and the Wonder Woman goes on DVD. Um, because I, I just, I, from what I've heard, I'm going to love it and I'm going to watch it every day after I get my hands on it. Um, but yeah. But I will see you guys in my next video. Okay. Bye.